good evening or good morning, Heavenbound family, and anyone who may be listening. And um, I hope that we have quite a few who are listening tonight. Um, and I'm going to do something different. I'm going to share with you a verse of scripture and I share a story with you. Back when we started the church 28 years ago, in 1993, we purposed to build a church. We secured some property. And we borrowed $60,000 to build a church building. When um, we got the church framed in, if you will, the outside was built, the walls of the, ce or the ceiling was uh, on and so forth, or the roof was on and so forth. The treasurer came to me and said, Pastor, we have a problem. We're out of money. We have spent the $60,000 we borrowed. I went to the Lord in prayer, and the Lord revealed to me a verse of scripture that uh, I'm sure I had read a number of times, but had not really registered in my mind. Now, what makes the Bible a living book? Uh, God is always revealing something new to us from it. But in Matthew chapter 18, verse 19, the Bible says again, I say unto you, that if two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything that they shall ask, it shall be done for them of my Father, which is in heaven. I went to church that Wednesday night, and I shared with the church, I'm going to preach to you a very short sermon tonight, just one verse. And I had them turn to Matthew 18:19. I read it to them. I said, now, our treasurer has notified us that we are out of money. And it's going to cost quite a bit more in order for us to finish it. We need the sheetrock. We need the paint. We need the doors. We need the hardware. We need the carpet. We need the, um, we need the pews uh, and uh, probably a few other things, the light fixtures and so forth. I said, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to pray tonight, and we're going to pray for each one of these items one at a time. We're going to pray for the lights, the fixtures. We're going to pray for the sheetrock. We're going to pray for the um, uh, for the doors. We're going to pray for the hardware. We're going to pray for the paint. We're going to pray for the carpet. At that point, someone said to me, Pastor, you know, we don't have to have carpet. Um, people have worshipped on uh sawdust floors for years. I said, yes, but if God can supply all of these other things, why would he not supply the carpet as well? We prayed for the pews. Over the next three months, there wasn't a single day as best I can remember that we didn't work at the church, that we didn't have the material that we needed. We did not borrow another penny of money. The church that I had pastored at before, that I had attended at before, I didn't pastor there, I attended there, their youth uh, took up a collection and bought the pews for our church. We had one gentleman in the church who gave $1,000, $1,000. That was the only uh, large offering that we received. But when we dedicated the church, I went to the treasurer and I said, can you total up how much money we spent in all? She freed it up and she said, Pastor, we spent $108,000. That means God brought in $48,000 without a single person in the church other than Lois and I. Uh, which gave uh, uh, some, uh, but uh, certainly not anywhere close to that. Uh, Charlie gave a thousand, and uh, that was the only uh, two sources of income that amounted to anything other than just regular offerings. And yet we spent forty-eight thousand. Shortly after that, I was asked to come to California to preach a revival, actually for a preacher I really didn't even know. We went out there to preach a revival and uh, 
having this experience fresh on my mind, the first night of the revival, I asked the church, I shared with them Matthew uh, 18, 19, and I said, now then, how many people do you want to see saved this week? They were somewhat a little bit stunned, like they hadn't been asked that before. Finally, one individual in, in the uh, pew said, how about 14? I said, is the church in agreement with that? And everyone seemed to be in agreement. I said, okay, now, notice Matthew 18, 19. If any two will agree here on earth concerning anything, whatsoever we shall ask of the Father, it will be done. Now, we're going to pray tonight, and we're going to ask God to give us 14 people during this revival, or more if he chooses. My friend, that week, we not only had 14 people saved, we had two weddings. Uh, I went into one home, and a couple there was shacking together. Uh, they professed that they loved the Lord. I went through the plan of salvation with them. They accepted Christ. And then I shared with them, look, you can't be a Christian and living in fornication. What keeps you guys from getting married? The gentleman said, well, in all honesty, Pastor, we don't have the money to get the marriage license. I said, I tell you what, I'll buy the marriage license. You come to church tomorrow night. We'll have the um, wedding after the church service. Two nights, I believe it was, maybe three later, we were knocking doors again, and we came upon the very same scenario, only this time the pastor said, I will pay for the license. And so he bought the license, and we had the second wedding. I was sharing that with the church uh, Sunday night. Uh, uh, the Lord brought it to my mind, and um, so I shared it with the church. And after I shared that with the church, I asked the church, I said, okay, church, what do we want to do? What do we want to ask God for? That will glorify God, that will reach the lost for Jesus, and that will... Uh, uh, Establish our faith in God's Word. They too uh, stood speechless or sat speechless for a moment. And then a young man on the front row, uh, Johnny, said, How about the 14? I said, Okay. Is everybody in agreement with that? Is there anybody here who opposes that? Is everybody here willing to pray and um, believe that God is going to give us 14 between now and the 1st of June? That gives us two weeks. And um, that afternoon, I had an urge to bake some brownies, and so I called each one in the church and asked them if they'd like to have fellowship at the church. I would furnish the brownies. We furnished the brownies. They had we had fellowship, and uh, in the course of the fellowship, we encouraged each one to pray at seven o'clock each evening. Set your set your uh, uh, telephone, your your uh, uh, cell phone there to go off at least uh, uh, close to seven, and then let's each at night at seven o'clock, all of us will uh, pray wherever we're at. But we will all come together in agreement asking God for the 14. Uh, let me rephrase that. Not asking God for the 14. Thanking God for the 14 that he's going to give us. And then let's pray that God will give us the holy boldness that we need to go out and reach them. After all, Psalms 126 says, He that goeth forth, weeping, bearing precious seed, shall doubtless come again rejoicing. If we're going to pray and ask God for 14, we need to go forth and share Christ with uh, people and um, uh, share with them uh, the gospel and uh, win them to the Lord and uh, encourage them to come out to church. We're excited about what God is going to do. If you would like to bring glory to God, uh, hey, come out and be a part of showing the congregation that God is true to his word. 
we're going to have a celebration on the 14th uh, that night. And um, uh, not on the 14th. Uh, uh, we're going to have a celebration on the um, uh, Sunday night, the 30th, I believe it is. And um, we're going to give God a hand. We're going to praise him for the 14 or more that he has given us. I encourage you. Hey, how about coming out, being a part of the 14 that God is going to give us? Hey, if you're part of the church, how about going out and sharing uh, the love of Jesus with some unsaved soul? Win them to Jesus and bring them out. Hey, do this, and um, then on the 30th, we will have food on the table. Uh, we will uh, we will have refreshments. We will have fellowship. We will celebrate what God has done uh, because we prayed. We believed. We went forth. And God gave the increase. Hey, can you believe that? Give God a praise. And um, come out and help us be a part of what God is going to do at Heaven Bound the next two weeks. This is Pastor Larry with A Moment in the Word. Go forth, bless someone today. It will bless uh, uh, them. It will bless you. It will bless God. By the way, I don't think I said so, but this is Friday, the um, uh, 21st of May. Hope you have a blessed and wonderful uh, Friday. God bless you. Love each one of you. Bye-bye.